I finished the movement arm, obviously, since the montage is finished. And I didn't break this one in half with a hammer like I did the last one. And I built the other three also. See? And they move great. That's like the angle that you can get in the game when you're like grabbing through somebody or whatever. Some of these arms aren't finished. They need little parts welded up and they need tuned up, sanded up and made to look pretty before it's ready for the little other things to go on to make it all move around. So time to make these awesome. It is extremely satisfying to have these arms finally finished. They are in perfect alignment and they work very, very well. Now, obviously they're not 100% finished because they're not cleaned up yet, but they might still get modified because there's other stuff that needs to go on here. And I don't have a definitive plan for everything yet. So there's no point in finishing them when they might get changed in the near future. It's time to put these on and make it move under its own power. These are 20 kilogram rated servos, which might be a little generous on the weight rating, but they move relatively quick and they are what will control the movement arms that move the blade and arc out of my arm and forward. Huge thanks to Xander, one of my Patreon patrons that sent me a whole bunch of these for this project. And a huge thank you to everyone else on Patreon also for supporting me through this project. It's been way too long and you guys have stuck it out. Thank you very, very, very much. And you'll get to see your names on my table again very soon. The only reason I'm still here is because I need a TIG welder, which I don't have to do all the aluminum parts, which is right there. And my shop doesn't have one. I'm incredibly excited to install these and get to watch this thing move around on its own. A lot of people have said in the comments that I should do shorter videos or, you know, not work so hard on this, but this project has reached a turning point. Now that this moves so well and everything works together as well as it does, and these are about to go on, it's about to be automated. It takes all of that frustration and hard work from the beginning and meticulous attention to detail, and it makes it all worth it. But in order to install these, just like every single other thing on this project, I have to build custom parts because that's the only way to make these fit and interact with the stuff on this to make it be automated. And there's no way I can get that done for this video. Make sure you hit the buttons if you want to help out the channel and if you're subscribed with notifications turned on, you'll catch the video that comes out next where these are on it and it's moving around on its own. It's going to be really awesome. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Who are you? Me? I'm...